The Star Wars Resistance episode Dangerous Business opens with Kaz fixing the fireball by himself so Tam could fly it in the afternoon. It's nice to see that his skills have greatly improved since the beginning of the season where he didn't know the first thing about being a mechanic. In fact, I think one of the biggest points of this episode is to show Kaz's growth as a spy. He's still not completely competent, but over the course of the story we see that he's becoming less and less reliant on other people to get him out of trouble. Kaz got the parts to repair the fireball from Flix and Orca, and in exchange, he agreed to watch their store for the day. And I just want to say I appreciated that he was going out of his way to make Tam happy. He's caused a lot of extra stress for a friend who doesn't even know why he's really there, and I liked seeing him try to make up for that. But Flix and Orca warn Kaz not to sell anything in their back room, and they head off. Of course, a shady character named Taraj shows up, immediately asking about some of that forbidden inventory. He lures Kaz out of the store with a big sail, traps him in a shipping container, and then orders it to be dumped into the ocean. And this is one of those moments where we get to see Kaz deal with a problem on his own. He does ask for help from BB-8, but Taraj traps the little droid, so Kaz is on his own. He uses his mechanical know-how to escape, and I felt oddly proud of him. By the time he gets out, Taraj has already stolen the part he was after, something called a phase connector. Kaz sneaks on board his ship to find First Order stormtroopers there, and he decides he has to bring the ship down rather than let them have it. Again, he solves the problem on his own, with skills he's learned as a mechanic, although he does technically have help from Flix and Dorka's stowaway Gorg, Bitey. That little guy gets electrocuted a lot throughout this episode, but apparently that only makes him stronger. Kaz brings the ship down and escapes without being detected at all, and he makes his way back to the Colossus. Flix and Orca return to their store, which was trashed by Taraj, but they praise Kaz for destroying the part and the thief's ship rather than let him steal their merchandise. Those two characters were a lot of fun during what little screen time they got. If my speculation is right and Season 2 takes us off the Colossus to do more planet hopping with the larger resistance, I hope they join Kaz and remain part of the supporting cast. But for now, they explain that phase connectors are used to crack open asteroids for heavy-duty mining. Kaz wonders why the First Order wants one, but it's pretty clear it's intended to power Starkiller Base. So, Dangerous Business does tie into the larger First Order plot, but it's one of those things where the audience knows more than any of the characters. It's gotta be hard for the writers to balance revelations for Kaz that are still surprising to us, but this reminded me of the Station Theta Black episode where Kaz and Poe learn that the First Order is, dramatic pause, building weapons, and it's like, yeah, we know. I guess this just serves as a periodic reminder that Starkiller Base is coming, and like the trailer showed, we're going to see it in action, which I think a lot of us are looking forward to in a kind of morbid way. I think that'll wind up being a big turning point for Kaz and the show as a whole. And again, I think this episode was mostly focused on Kaz to prepare him and us for the shift the galaxy is about to see. When the show began, Kaz was described by the writers as a bird. He's very skilled when he's flying, but awkward when he's stuck on the ground. He was never trained as a spy or a mechanic, and it showed. But he's growing more and more competent, and I think we're being prepared for future episodes when the Colossus is going to need him. The trailer showed General Organa request that he join the larger resistance if he can. Maybe that's for the assault on Starkiller Base, or maybe that's part of the plea for help on Crate. But I could see Kaz deciding he needs to stay on Castellon to help the people he's come to think of as family. The Poe Dameron comics touched on this, but there are allies to the Resistance out there that couldn't come to help at Crate because they were already in the fight against the First Order. The end of the season could tie directly with The Last Jedi and show us why nobody responded to Leia's call for help. All in all, this was a fine episode. I'm glad to see Kaz get more development, I just wish there was a bigger revelation for the audience than a tease for Starkiller Base. But those are my thoughts on Dangerous Business. Let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments below. If you want to catch up on my reviews for earlier episodes, check out this playlist here. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.